What's going on, guys? It's your boy LQ, Mr. Real Deal Fantasy HQ, and welcome to the Roto Baller Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. And today, we're going to be talking about a Browns wide receiver, and it's Elijah Moore for my player breakdown today. So I don't want to waste any more time. So let's get right into the episode. Man, it's been really tough to be an Elijah Moore fantasy manager because it's just been quiet. Nothing has been happening really for Elijah Moore. So it's been tough to kind of have him in starting lineups. So I know he's been living and breathing on the bench for a lot of fantasy managers, but you have to appreciate this 21% target share. I know I always preach follow the volume for people who follow me on Twitter, but I really feel as though we have to be a little bit more patient with Elijah Moore. Now, we look at last week's game, we can't really go off of that game because it kind of was what we expected with Deshaun Watson not playing. DTR getting in, so expectations and overall production of this offense wasn't really good for Elijah Moore along with other you know Browns players so I really look at Elijah Moore last three games with Deshaun Watson when he was playing I really feel as though you have to appreciate the target share and also notice that the yards are increasing and the catches are increasing so these are things that are being slow walked for us to constantly you know have the thought of Elijah Moore being this breakout player because man the production's there the targets are there the volume is there on a big on a week-to-week -week basis so like I said he's one of six players Players that have a 20% plus target share that's averaging less than 10 fantasy points per game. So I know it's been tough, but just pump the brakes, just hold on a little bit longer, man, because they're trying to get Elijah Moore involved as much as possible in this offense, and you have to appreciate that as well. I mean, he's even getting rushing attempts in the three games that he played with Watson. It's a little bit of what he did in New York as well, so they realized that he was underutilized in New York, and they're trying to get him more involved as well. So if you look at Watson and what he's looking at on third down in the most crucial places, I thought this was pretty crazy when I looked this up. Elijah Moore has a 30% target share on third down compared to Amari Cooper and David Njoku, who both have a 16% target share on third down. These are crucial moments. So you can see that Watson's looking as Elijah Moore as a reliable target. So that is great to, to basically have on your bench right now to have Elijah Moore where the target share is healthy and he's producing every single week where he's getting better and better and more gelled than this offense. So it's important that Deshaun Watson comes back healthy. So I'm holding steady on Elijah Moore because he could be a potential player that you might slide into these starting lineups because these bye weeks, they're in effect right now. So you definitely want to have the players who have the volume, who have proven talent. I think we can say that about Elijah Moore being what he put on tape in New York, but now he's in Cleveland and he's trying to get worked into the system where the chemistry is still needing to be built. So hopefully Deshaun Watson comes back healthy and we can get a lot more of Elijah Moore involvement and hopefully he can score some touchdowns. That's really what we're waiting for. Elijah Moore to fall into the end zone and he hasn't capped more than 49 receiving yards, which is also a little concerning. But like I said, Week after week, those yards are increasing. The targets are increasing. The involvement in offense is there. They're trying to make him that central piece to this offense, which I think is important for fantasy managers to hold on just a little bit longer on Elijah Moore. I'm telling you, the numbers are there, the production is there, and the talent is there, and that's what's most important about these players, man. And I really want you guys to understand with these bye weeks coming in, there's not much left on the waiver wire right now that you can slide in unless there's injury. There's not much guys on the bye weeks that you, you feel conf confident that you have on the bench that don't have the volume as a Elijah Moore right now with a 21% target share. So that's all that I want to preach to you guys. And hopefully this helps you guys out when he comes back from that bye week. And don't, because I, I really made this video just because I feel like a lot of people are seeing that he's on a bye week and they probably drop him. So you're basically, if you drop him right now in this bye week, you're gifting somebody a potential breakout star in any of these weeks. And look, it's week five. It's still kind of early. So I could see Elijah Moore showing up on the back end of the season. So hopefully Watson stays healthy. And of course, Elijah Moore stay healthy. So hold on steady and hold on tight. The points are on the way. So this wraps up another great episode of Roto Baller Fantasy Sports YouTube channel. Please make sure you guys like and subscribe. Let's get to 20K, people. Let's get to these 20K subscribers. It will make me really happy. And I'm pretty sure all the great guys at Roto Baller will be happy about that as well. So you guys can follow me at Real Deal Fantasy on all social media platforms. Until next time.